Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah. Come, you guys, from California. Before I begin, give of all praise, it's the most high, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the most high blesses this lesson this evening. Gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past. In order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Like I've been telling you, their prophecies are not coming to pass. All of the lies are coming out now. All of their lies about how prophecy is going to be fulfilled and you know, this is, you know, Antichrist is coming, and Russia this, and Islam that, and Arabs this, and, you know, all these different places. It only worked before because we were asleep. You're going to see proof that they know exactly what they've been doing. They know exactly what they've been hiding. And all these people that have been just 66 books only. They're all confederate with hiding the truth. They're all confederate with hiding the Most High's chosen people. And they're all confederate in hiding the fact that this church that they love so much, they love to talk about how loving it is, was responsible for taking down the Israelites. Talks about that in the Book of Mormon, 1 Nephi 13, how the whole world you know, gives praise to this organization because they took down the Israelites. That's why all these people are part of the church. It isn't because the church is so great, because they just bring out so much knowledge and understanding. They give homage because they took down the Israelites. They took us down and they had their opportunity to uh, enjoy the blessing. So therefore, in order to be able to enjoy that blessing, they had to give homage and love to the priesthood of Mahan, to the Christian and Catholic church. But we got them right now. You're going to see right now how they just, just because, I'm telling all you guys, just because you take books out of the Bible doesn't mean those prophecies won't come to pass. Just because you refuse to look at what the Most High gave to our people to write down just because you said it wasn't canonized or it wasn't good doesn't mean that it's not true see all you other people who really don't know the bible that well you think that there's only 66 books and some people will come on the channel saying well the catholic bible has the apocrypha well you're about to find out what kind of apocrypha the catholic bible has and it doesn't go with the king james version of the bible because they conveniently cut parts out, change certain words, change certain things, change understanding, so that as these prophecies are now being fulfilled, you will have no clue. You have no clue the fact that the Israelites are going to wake up in the lands of their captivity. You have no clue that when Columbus came over here, that he was taking down the ten tribes of Israel. You have no clue that the Most High is only going to give you a certain amount of time of destroying his people, and then he's coming after you. You think that everything's just roses and daisies, and you're going to be, you know, get, you're get, about to get up out of here because things are getting pretty hot around here. And that's not going to be the case at all. And you have no one to blame but your churches and yourselves because you refuse to study to show thyself approved. The Most High has given you ample opportunity to break away from these organizations if he's allowing you to and chase after him. Now, if you can't get it after what I'm going to show you right now, then it just ain't for you. And I would suggest you just unsubscribe and go ahead and go enjoy the last vestiges of your empire. Pick this up right here. The Holy Bible. This is the Catholic press. This is the Catholic Bible. From like the 1950s, okay? Now, people love to say, well, the Catholic Bible has the Apocrypha. Well, let's check that out real fast. Let's check out 2nd Esdras. 
Let's see where that stops. Second Ezra chapter 13. All right, all right, 13 right here. All right, okay. And uh, what? Second Ezra 13, 31. Well, I know there's more chapters of Second Ezra than this. In fact, there's way more verses in Second Ezra chapter 13. Actually, Second Ezra and the uh, um, let's see here in the uh, King James version goes all the way to verse 58, but they stopped it at 31. So again, you guys are giving all this love, and you give all this you know, adoration, and you let these people tell you how you think you're going to get to heaven. And they're just cutting and pasting wherever they want to in the Bible, and you just don't care. They guys, they just stopped right here. Like, well, hey, man, we're, we're good with second Ezra. We'll change some words and stuff, but you're going to stop at 31. You're not going to get second Ezra 14, 15, or 16. And in fact, we're not even going to finish second Ezra 13. We're going to leave those last 27 uh, verses and out, out altogether. Because oh, what are you going to say? Oh, they're not scripture. So you remember in the last video, I told you that when they're canonizing books, they're canonizing things that are good for the Christian church. Things that are good for the Israelites, they, they keep out. And see, when you're looking at what's going to happen at the end of this chapter, and you look at what's going to go in 2nd uh, Edges 14, 2nd Edges 15, they're like, oh, no, that's not good for us, man. That's, that's, that, that's no good. Just leave that out. And then just tell people that, hey, it's not good. That's why these people come on the channel and say things like, oh, the Apocrypha is just, you know, historical. No, it's not. There are prophecies in here that are going to be fulfilled, whether you like it or not. And if the Most High is going to raise up his people to bring those out, because all you're doing is hiding information from the world. That's why you guys, a lot of these Christians and Catholics are feeling real confident that they can come over to someone else's channel and run their mouths when they don't even know their own, what their own church has done to them. They're the ones that have damned you. They're the ones that have led you astray. They tell you all about love, but the Catholic and Christian church is the most bloody religious organization ever. Ever. And look at look at the manipulation right here. Second Ezra 13. Why, why can't you read it for yourself and come up to your own book your own conclusions? Most I told you to study to show thyself approved, right? But it's kind of hard to study when your, your church is hiding a bunch of verses from you, a bunch of chapters from you, because they don't they know that they're damned. They know that they've been lying. So let's take a, a real quick look, okay, at what else is in 2nd Ezra chapter 13 that they cut out? 2nd Ezra 13, you're looking at 39. Okay? It says, And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land, okay, in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanasser the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so came they into another land. But they took this counsel among themselves, that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. They came to the Americas. They got away from the heathen. Remember, the heathen weren't allowed to come over here. That's why when Columbus was finally allowed to come over to over there, over here to the Americas, it was a new world because they were never allowed to come over here. That's why they knew the 10 tribes was over here. They took down the southern kingdom. The Jews over there in Spain, over there in Europe first. Most I gave them to the Gentiles. Then he allowed them to come over here and take down the 10 tribes. Because Judah, right, and the northern kingdom, Jerusalem, had to be in, you know, in, enslaved together. And that's exactly what happened. Okay, hold on Okay, so again, okay, Hold on, I got this thing popping up here, of course. It says, but they took counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth 
into a further country where never mankind dwelt, that they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. And they entered into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. For the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. For through that country there was a great way to go, namely of a year and a half. And the same region is called Aseret. Okay? Bible, you know, your Catholic Church said, oh, hell no. Take that out. Don't even let them see it. And I don't want to hear any Christians coming here saying, that's not what that means. Hey, first of all, you go to your church and ask them, why are they cutting that out? You don't get to come over here and say what this means and doesn't mean when your church cut it out. You see what I'm saying? That, that's not how this works. You first go run to your church and find out why this is cut out. Don't come over here telling us what is and is not scripture and what is good. Because apparently your church is trying to hide something. They're hiding all this right here. It was in a 1611 version of the Bible. I'll get to the 1950s and it just cut that out. Now, let's take a look at the next chapter. Of course. You know, they make a part two here. My computer's freezing up on me. 